Time to leave Piglet camping. That was a nice night here. Now today we're taking on our biggest adventure so far, the highest mountain we've ever climbed. We're gonna go up to 3,900 meters up to Langa Nuko Lake. So, you ready to go? Yes, yeah. we are ready. I think that worked out to be a good decision. What do you think? Stay yeah. here? Yeah, no, it's definitely the right decision. Hmm. So now we're fresh, ready to go. Yeah. Should we get going? Yeah. Okay, yes, let's go. Yeah. So the first kilometre is exactly the same as what we did yesterday, back up to the entrance to the National Park. Okay, we arrive once more at Parque Nacional Huascara. Looks like there's more life here today. We can get some tickets. For the, for the entrance to the National Park. Mm. And this was also what we came for, so now we all have it. Yeah. Now we've got the real permits with the stamps and everything on. Okay, let's go and see the park. The difference today is going to be we're not going to be cycling through any small settlements or villages like yesterday. Here we are in the pure nature in the park here. It's going to be a different kind of day today. It's amazing now to be in the national park and something we have, we have thought about is, is the water are clean enough but we are certainly this clean enough. So we know at the highest altitude we've ever cycled, 3,000 446 was the highest we've ever been up in Kyrgyzstan. Now we're at 3,415, so we're just crossing our record. And today is climbing another 400 meters and 50 up. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be the highest ever. It's amazing to just look at this national park, it's well kept. And as you can see on the right side here, it's amazing. Is how they look like. Going back there. I think it's hard. <laughs> Start to feel yeah. the altitude now. Yes, and it's difficult with the uneven road at the same time. You have to really concentrate not to fall over and over through big rocks. It, it is difficult. The Dolomites in Italy last year that seems very easy compared to this. Well, you can see the road conditions, but right here is quite good. But a lot of the time we are cycling on things that look like this and then it's difficult to you know steer the bike and very bumpy i think we're here It'll be a restaurant here at the start of the first lake laguna de yagunok to get some kind of potato really really tastes good and some salad and we can just uh, sit here look at the view well, this looks like the place where Peruvians go on holiday kind of an attraction here all going out on these rowing boats here just leave all the tourist buses behind cycle around the lakes now Enjoy the flat section. We've got about five kilometers flat. So uh, this is the view from the lake. It 
it's incredible. So, and I think we can see where we're going to be camping tonight. This is going to be one awesome campsite. This has been an awesome start to a biking adventure here in Peru. Of course, we're starting in one of the most beautiful areas of Peru, so I thought it'd been a bit spoiled in the beginning here, but uh, even though we look forward to seeing some of the more remote areas we're gonna visit later on on this trip, but uh, certainly a beautiful, beautiful country. And also the people we meet along the way, they are extremely friendly with us. So that's also nice, that's uh, so nice when you can Say hello to the people as you pass by and they smile and wave and they get the help we need whenever we stop. So that's great. Well that one status. These are the kind of roads I live for. Just immense and amazing. So I'd have been dreaming about visiting since I first discovered it on Google Maps about two years ago. <laughs> Do you think there's any availabilities or is it fully booked? There's like in everything Italy? I need here. There's the perfect grass, <laughs> perfect <laughs> scenery. It might be okay. This is dream camping. <laughs> okay, tent is up. Unpacked. Just to enjoy a night here, an evening here. Get the cooker going. Oh, it looks like we have a few visitors. a great two days on the bikes first two days biking up here to the lakes of Yanganuko it's a really really nice place to camp up here we're now at an altitude of 3700 meters which is uh, yeah the highest we've ever been so uh, but we're not finished yet we carry on climbing tomorrow and guess what another 1000 meters so we're going to go from 3700 to 4700 tomorrow if that's possible we'll see how it goes so that's certainly going to be a test of our lung capacity we've never been as high as that before so uh, cycling over 4,000 meters that's going to be a challenge we've tried it once in uh, Puno where Jamie's from just walking up the steps that was hard enough so we'll see tomorrow what it's like cycling at uh, that altitude but at the moment yeah feeling much better this evening than yesterday I was being a bit lightheaded when we put the scent up Today is uh, much better, so I'm feeling fine today. Yeah, we'll get the cooker out, have some dinner, get to bed early, it goes dark early, and we'll be back on the road up the mountain for another great day. The road looks awesome that we're riding on tomorrow. What do we have on the menu tonight, chefs? We have some, uh, some uh, onion, potatoes, and uh, pepper, yes, mm. red pepper. And some Kenya we found. Yes. What do you have in there, Jamie? That's uh, some popcorns uh, mm -hmm. with some uh, honey taste. Mm. Let's see if we can make some food now before it starts to get cold. All of a sudden here, it's going to be pretty cold. So, just got a visitor. Let's to see what I'm doing here in the sink. Just trying to wash out Kenya that we bought. And, uh, how are you doing? You okay? What are you doing? Any friends there? Yeah? 